in this section we'll be adding three more models to our project for shopping cart order header and order details along with that we will also push all three of them to our database using repository pattern so let's get started with all of that from the next video we have come along a long way in our project now we have a functional application in which you can log in you can register you can log in using facebook we are able to send emails and we have lots of more functionalities now what we need is we want products to be added to shopping cart we want the cart to be saved in database so that if a user logs out and after a month if he comes back we still have the items in the cart along with that we will also need models to place order we usually have two basic models one is order header and the other one is order detail order header contains an overview of what we have for our complete order and details contains items that what are all the items in that order so what we will do in this section is we will set up all the three models along with that we will also have the individual repositories for all three of them we will start with the shopping cart we'll close everything we'll close all the documents solution explorer we'll minimize this we'll be working with models we will add a new class here and the first one will be shopping cart.cs and we'll make sure this is public then inside shopping cart what will be all the properties first by default will be the id which will be the primary key we'll use data annotations now think about what are all the properties that we need for shopping cart next what we will need is the application user id we want what user has how many items added in the shopping cart so for that we need application user id product id count of the items and along with that i will also add a price which i will not add to the database so let me configure all of that So first we added application user ID and we added the foreign key reference to the application user model. Let's do the same for product as well. Perfect. So we added for product as well here. We need a semicolon after set. Let me change that. And next what we want is count. Now count, I want to add a range validation here. I want the count to start from minimum 1 and maximum let me make it 1000. If it is not between that range, I have a custom error message that please enter a value between 1 and 1000. Also what I want once the count is initialized, I want the default value to be 1. That we can do in the constructor here, CTOR, and we can initialize count to 1. Last, what I want, as I said before, I want a double for the price. Now, the price here, we won't be mapping that to the database. What will be this price? We will have price of the same product different based on the count. If they are ordering less than 25, we'll have different price. More than 50 will have different price. So based on the count selected here, we will be loading the price so that we can display on the UI or on the view. In the database, all we will be adding in shopping cart is application user ID, product ID, count, and an ID which will be the primary key. This looks good for our shopping cart model. In the next video, let's work on order header. Once we add our shopping cart, next model that we want is order header. Whenever we work with any order, there are usually order header as well as order details. Let's first add order header here and we'll make it a public class. That should be the first thing. What will be all the properties here? First will be an integer ID, which will be the primary key. 
then we need what is the user who's placing that order. So we have that user in shopping cart as application user ID. We can copy that and paste it right here. We have the foreign key reference as well. We'll do control dot for foreign key. There we go. Then we will have few of the required date properties. So we'll make it required prop date time. First will be the date of the order, which is order date. We can copy and paste it one more time. Next property will be shipping date. Along with that, we will have a required of order total. Order total will be a double. Then we will add few of the tracking properties, which will be tracking number and carrier and both of them will be string. With any order, we will have couple of status. We can have just one order status, but we will keep two different statuses, one for the order status and second one will be for the payment status. Because for some users, they can make payment within 30 days of the order, we will add the payment date as well as the payment due date. Then whenever we'll be taking any transaction with Stripe, we will have a transaction ID. So we can do prop string transaction ID. This looks good for the order header. Now along with that we need details of where the order needs to be shipped along with name, phone number and other details. So we will add all of those properties that we want. These properties might exist inside the application user, but sometimes they want the order to be shipped in other place. So we will add all these properties here for the order header as well. Once we do this, it looks good for what we have to do inside order header. Last thing that we need is order details. Let's take a look at that in the next video. Order header contains the generic information about order and order details contains individual items that are there inside the order. Because of which, let's first add the order details here and then we'll add the properties. First thing first, it should be a public class and it will have an ID. So prop int ID, we can use the key data annotation. Then we need a reference to the order header because order header and order details will be linked together. So right here we will have a required property and it will be an int of order ID. This order ID is the order header ID. So we need a foreign key here. We'll do control dot and in here we'll include order ID. We'll do prop here and it will be order header let's call this order header as well then we need the product its count and its price so we can just copy this and paste it here next will be for the product id we'll copy this paste it for the foreign key and the model will be product then we'll need an integer count of the product that user wants and we'll have a double here. This will be price of the individual product when they place the order. This looks good for all the properties that we need inside order details. Once we complete all the three models, let's add them to our database. So in data access, data, we will have to add that in application DB context. Let me paste it three times. We have shopping cart order header and order details we will call them the same order details order headers and we have shopping carts once you add this let's add a migration to NuGet package manager console add migration add shopping cart and order header and details details to db so right here we have an error 
and it says that the issue is inside shopping cart we have a product id which is string and that is weird because product id should be integer so if we go to our shopping cart and if we scroll down whoops this should be integer because inside product the id is an integer hence it will be able to bind it only if it's an integer once you save this if you run the migration again this time we'll see another error but I want to show you what that error is. We have seen that before. Okay, let's see if you can figure this one out. This one is simple. We just need to change the default project to bulkybook.dataaccess. Once you do that, and if you add the migration again, this should work. Perfect. We have all the migrations here. This looks good. Let's update the database. All right, so with this, we have added all the models that we created to our database. Next thing that we have to do is we need to set up the repository for them. In this video, let's set up the repository for all of the three models. We'll go to Solution Explorer. Let me pin this because we'll be adding quite a few repositories. First, let's add all of the repository here. We'll copy category, paste it three times, one, two, three. We'll change the first one to shopping cart repository. We will copy this and create that. Let's change everything later on. Let's change this one to order header repository. And we have the order details repository. Okay, so let's start with the details. Let me copy this, paste it here. It will be on order details. And we don't have the interface yet, but I'll paste it I order details repository. Okay, we have the order details repository. In here, we'll just have the order details. Let's call this obj. And then in here, we can directly use underscore db dot update obj what we can do is let me just copy this update and we'll paste it inside order header as well as shopping cart so right here let me paste it this will be shopping cart and let's do the same in order header as well this will be order header we'll save this and then we need to change the name here this one will be order header repository we'll copy the name this will be i order header repository and this looks good let's go to our shopping cart change the name here shopping cart repository let me copy that i shopping cart repository shopping cart and this looks good let's implement all the interfaces now so inside the i repository, we'll copy category and paste it three more times again. And we can just copy the names here, order header to i order header. Whoops, this is the details one. Let me copy order header, i order header. And we have the shopping cart, i shopping cart repository, i shopping cart shopping cart and we'll have shopping cart obj this looks good let me save that let me also open up the order details and order header i'll copy the i order header from here perfect this looks good for order header let me copy the order details And great. So with this, all of the interfaces as well as class have been implemented and I made sure all of them are public. Last, what we have to do is we need to update unit of work. So we'll open up unit of work and I unit of work. We'll copy one of them. 
and paste it three more times and make the modifications for shopping cart as well as order header and details. Perfect. Let's go up and create them here. Great, so our unit of work looks good. Let's do the same in our unit of work. We can copy and paste it three more times. So this looks good. Let me make sure everything is correct one more time. Order details has order details. Shopping cart looks good. Yep. Let's take a look. Order details. Yep. Order header. Oops. This should be order header. We'll save that. And the shopping cart repository. This should be shopping cart. Let's build our project and there should not be any errors. Build succeeded. So with this we complete our repositories for all the models.